Have you seen the text? I'll call them the breakup text between Elizabeth Holmes and Sonny Balwani and why those texts may just convict Sonny Balwani in his felony fraud trial coming up in a few weeks. Hi there, I'm Michelle Hagan. I'm a legal analyst and a former prosecutor. And you may recognize me because I provided a lot of coverage on the Elizabeth Holmes fraud trial. So let me give you some background first before we take a look at the text. And only I'm only going to look at a couple pages here as we all prepare for Sonny Balwani's trial that's coming up. So his trial is coming up March 11th with jury selection. I have to look at my notes here. With jury selection starting March 9th. And... Let me give you some background for those people who didn't follow the Elizabeth Holmes case. He, Sonny Balwani, was the COO of Theranos. And he's facing the exact same charges that Elizabeth Holmes was. The 11 counts of wire fraud, the two conspiracy counts, the one count to uh, conspire to defraud investors, another count conspiring to defraud patients, and then nine counts of wire fraud. Basically, they are accused of, and she was convicted of, but they are accused of making false or fraudulent statements to get people's money to deposit into their bank. So that's constituting wire fraud. So let's get to Sunny Balwani and let's take a look at what I call the breakup texts. So these are texts between Elizabeth Holmes and Sonny Balwani. This is from the exhibits or the evidence um, that was entered in. These were these text messages were part of the evidence in Elizabeth Holmes' case. So I highlighted some of the areas. So let's just go through this. So this is, if you look over here, it says a Holmes iPhone message. These are all taken from her iPhone. These are the messages. And here are the dates, July 15, 2015. And here is a text, and this is from Sonny to Elizabeth. And then you can see here it's from Elizabeth to Sonny, Elizabeth to Sonny, etc. All right, so let's take a look at what I call the breakup text. So here's Sonny saying to Elizabeth, I worked for six years, day and night, to help you. I am sad at where you are and I are. This is showing where they're, you know, they're breaking up and the context of these text messages between the two of them. This was taking place at the time that they knew, Sonny and Elizabeth Holmes knew, that there were whistleblowers. And it was Erica Chung and Tyler Schultz. And they were trying to figure out between the two of them, who were the people, who were the whistleblowers. And so at this time, Sonny was also, he'd had it, and he was going to be leaving Theranos. But some of, the, some of these text messages can implicate Sonny Balwani. So here he's telling her, I worked for six years, day and night. I'm sad at where you are. And here's where he's admitting, I am responsible for everything at Theranos. He's taking responsibility for what happened. And in her trial, she blamed him for, she pointed the finger at him for what happened at the lab. He was the one who is responsible for the lab is what she testified to and several of the witnesses did as well. But if he's admitting that he's responsible for everything at their nose, that's an admission of liability of culpability and a jury could convict him for that. So you can go ahead and read the rest of these, uh, where they're trying to work out the ending of their relationship. And here's another one. He says, unfortunately you don't, this is where he's saying that she doesn't understand what's going on here. Unfortunately, you don't. It breaks my heart to see you like this. And then he says, I'm not leaving until we break even. So he wanted to break even with the cash. We will do this together and I will be by yourself until by yourself until then. We can't leave it like this. This is showing that the two of them, two of the counts are conspiracy. Part of the conspiracy charge is you have to show that the two of them are working together. So here we see that they're trying to figure out what to do here when they see that basically the, the jig's up, right? The whistleblowers have gone to the Wall Street Journal. 
I think they're getting ready to be audited by the uh, Centers for Medicare, or this may have taken place right around that time. So they are trying to figure out what to do here. So this shows the two of them working together, which is one of the elements of conspiracy. You can get go ahead and read the rest of this. And then here's where they're talking about, um, I do dislike, again, this is Sunny talking to her, I do dislike the direction you've taken with all this PR, public relations, and all the legal work. Elizabeth is trying to figure out how to deal with these whistleblowers, so basically she reaches out to the lawyers to send a cease and desist letter to Erica Chung, which is what Erica Chung testified to in the Holmes case. We can talk and find a perfect focus and a perfect plan. So again, it shows the two of them working together, which is one of the basis for the two conspiracy charges. Until, and he says to her, until then, you need me. Whether I deal or not, we need to get out of this together. Again, they're trying to figure out what's their exit plan here and what they're going to do about these whistleblowers. But for now, you and I both are on the same page, again, showing them working together and that we need to break even. I thought the thing she says to him, I thought the thing was, is that we did and that you wouldn't want to leave. So she's trying to figure out why he's leaving. And then he says to her, but I can't leave. I will try to fix this. He's trying to save this whole company here. And then he's talking about how unhappy he is. I'm very unhappy because my work sucks. And again, the two of them are under a lot of stress, I imagine, trying to figure out what to do about these whistleblowers. Um, and then we go down to the very last text that I want to show you at this point. I don't want this video to run too long. But uh, she says to him, I know, but you're saying even if we don't want to be here, and then he says to her, correct, only fix, the only fix is cash and to break even. Once we have that, you won't need me. You can then run this your way, and I won't have to convince you. So that's saying that, you know, in the Elizabeth Holmes case, several times Sonny, the testimony came out where Sonny was trying to tell Elizabeth to take basically a different course of action. And here he's saying, you know, he doesn't have to convince her anymore if he leaves the scene. She can handle this all on her own. But you leaving me now like this doesn't help me, unfortunately. I will just be making you miserable, is what he's saying. If he stays, she's going to be miserable. Yesterday was just a preview. Trust me, world is a mean place. Everyone has only been nice to us because of greed. Everyone has only been nice to us because of greed. Here he's trying to, you know, that sums up the whole case, right? People, it was about greed. People were investing in the company because they didn't want to lose out. You know, Walgreens and Safeway were getting involved in this because of the amount of profit they could make. You know, this was going to be a hugely profitable. If it worked, this technology would have been hugely profitable. And it certainly was for Theranos because they did take in 140, they took in hundreds of millions of dollars in investments. But in this case, you know, Sonny's going to have to figure out what his defense is going to be because Elizabeth was convicted of four counts of wire fraud. You know, three, uh, all relating, I'm sorry, four counts, one conspiracy to defraud investors, and then three counts relating to wire fraud with the investors. Now, Sonny has all of those counts to deal with, plus he has to deal with the patient counts that Elizabeth wasn't convicted of. But if, if the testimony comes out that Sonny was responsible for the lab and the patient tests, then he may be on the hook for that. But this, this two page of text messages between the two of them that I just showed you, showed you how the two of them have been working together through this. So that goes to the conspiracy. So just wanted to give you a preview of some of the some of the text between the two of them, and I call this the breakup text. So um, thank you very much for watching. Please do comment and let me know, do you think this is enough to show that he conspired with Holmes to defraud investors or to defraud patients?
do you think this is enough to show his responsibility? You know, where he admits that he was responsible for the lab. So please put your comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for su subscribing and please do subscribe. And um, I'll have some other videos out. We'll see what else. We'll get ready for the uh, Balwani trial starting on March 13th. Thanks again for watching.